Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and welcome to this week's episode of Maconomics. I'm your host, Ross Mack, and I'm here to try to help you get to the back. We got a new caller calling. Talk to me, what you got? Hey, what's going on, Ross Mack, man? How you doing, man? Hopefully better than me. Um, I, I recently just lost my job, you know, during this whole COVID stuff, and uh, I had a friend of mine basically telling me, you know, something about an emergency fund, man. I wish I would have had one saved up. Um, so I guess my question to you is just, you know, some general information about what it is and, you know, how much I should have saved up. Man, terribly sorry to hear that, brother. Um, I will say, your friend is telling you everything you need, man. You definitely need that emergency fund. And that's a stash of cash set aside to cover all the financial surprises that life could throw your way. And honestly, I believe every person needs one. Why? Because life unpredictable, man. Whether it's a job loss or an unexpected car repair, a roof leak, anything can happen. Next question is, just exactly how much money do you need in it? A general rule is to have at least three to six months of expenses saved away for a rainy day. So to actually figure that out, you first gotta calculate what your necessary expenses are. What are necessary expenses? Think of it like this, right? You got things you wanna do, but these are the things you have to do in order to survive. So that's gonna be your food, your rent, your utilities, insurance, etc. Then next you factor in things like your job stability, your ability to cut costs, or if you actually got a support system. Can you, you know, borrow from mom or dad? And that's gonna determine if you should multiply that necessary expense number by three or six. Your emergency fund, that's your safety backup plan, man. It's supposed to cover you if things ever go bad and you always wanna have that, right? So at the end of the day, you don't need to have it built up right away, but you should be working towards having that emergency fund Anything can happen to anyone. So think of it like this, right? Imagine that your necessary monthly expenses are roughly about $2,000, right? So the way you really wanna say it is like, okay, if, you know, I'm single, I don't really have any kids, no, any, no other dependents and whatnot, you might only need three months, meaning that you're gonna multiply your necessary expenses, $2,000 times three. So therefore in your emergency fund, you're gonna need roughly $6,000. But now look at it like this, right? Same exact equation, right? You got roughly $2,000 of necessary expenses on a monthly basis, but you actually got some dependents, whether you're helping take care of some, some elderly person in your family or you might actually have kids, right? The way you should really think of that is say, you know what? I think I need to have at least six times that amount, right? So now you really need $12,000 tucked away for a rainy day because now you got other mouths to feed and you don't necessarily know how quickly you could get another job or anything like that, right? And I think that's really the way you want to take a look at that. But man, I hope that helps, man. Truly sorry um, that you're in this predicament, but the best part is, man, we learn from it and more importantly, we're going to be prepared as we move forward, man. Next caller, talk to me. What you got? Look, man, clearly life is always throwing surprises at us and preparing ahead of time can make a world of difference. And with State Farm, you can inspect personalized service to fit your specific needs because they've been there. And being there means they can help you plan for the things that come your way. We got you. State Farm is here to help to prepare for the unexpected. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there.